creative. And yeah. I'm like, if I don't want to be stolen from, like, God damn, like, I'm gonna keep. Okay, you could just go because I'm. It's just natural flow. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. So you know, I just be like, you know, people don't know what creatives go through because it's like they think it's easy to just create some new shit, but it's like that's the reason why niggas being creative because yeah. you're not trying to copy nobody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like to... you making up something. That's like you making up, you cleaning up, and then the motherfucker come up through your house, you feel me, and yeah. just fuck up all your shit. This like, nigga clean up again. It's yeah. like, nah, nigga, I cleaned up. Took my time with the shit. You feel me? <laughs> but it's, it's, you know, it's all good. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, in reality, that's really what you got to do. Like, come up with some more stuff, you yeah. know? And if you, you know, God bless you, you gifted and talented enough to do it. Unfortunately, I mean, that's just what it is. You just do it, but yeah, it's still never a good feeling to, you know. Yeah. Yeah. To have somebody, but, um, yeah, but But that, it happened, though. Like, when you're creative, it just, it just happens. Somebody gonna be inspired by it. Somebody gonna be influenced by it. So I start taking it as a, as a, as a you know, as a, Credit to my yeah. gifts, like all right. But the tricky thing about that situation, right? Well, I, well, I started learning. It's like, man, everybody really don't know you. So sometimes, I, at first, I used to see myself, <clears throat> like, my influence on other people, and then be like, get frustrated. And then sometimes I start seeing stuff, things I did similar, and then that person, I just discovered this person. This person don't know me. So yeah. I start realizing, like, damn, some people might have similar ideas. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's my thing with you. It's like when I seen your skits, in my head, I could have thought, like, yeah. this nigga, this nigga copying Sonny Bo, bro. This nigga New Orleans Sonny Bo type shit. Lay it down. Bitch, don't say nothing. Wait, Sean, tell me. Bitch, what's down? What you doing what's out here, man? Bitch? Still out to robbing me. Man, you already know. You hear me? Looking on some shit, man. Like, I see you got the little muscles and shit. Yeah, you, you looking good. Yeah, hey, how, how the fam? They been, they been straight. How you cool? Been? I been thugging. You already know. As usual. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna head back to the crib. It was nice seeing you. Before you do that, look. You know what I'm saying? Before I even realize it was you, right? I was in the middle of a robbery, so you know I kind of need you to still run that. Come up off that. You still need that? It's only right, bro. It's only right. But I fuck with you, so I ain't, I ain't clean out or nothing. Let me get that. I can count. I can count. I ain't clean out. You take that. Hold that. How that nigga um, Terry been? Terry been cool. Oh, yesterday was his birthday. Yeah, hey, oh, nigga getting up there. Birthday, birthday. Yeah, let me get the rest. I gotta bless my dog. Gotta bless my dog. You be safe though, brother. Be safe, man. Good seeing you, boy. You forgot to say April Fools. Niggas finna be bitches in my mouth, nigga. What? What's up, bro? I'm trying to get in this thing. Yeah, I ain't got no bitches. It's bad, bro. It's bad. Nigga, what you mean we can't get in? Nigga, I shut this whole shit down. Nigga, that's on my mouth. Yeah. But then, yo shit was so original, and I already experienced that already with, like, knowing my influence, like, knowing me on other people. Good. So when I seen it, I'm like, nah, yo, you just being, you being original, and you, you copying your culture. Yeah. Not copying your culture, you embracing your yeah. culture and putting it on comedy. Yeah, you know. And it was it, it was crazy about that is that's just that's, that's a lot of people uh -huh. from the culture, but that's my cousin in particular. Mm. I have an older cousin who just fucked up with it, uh -huh. but I used to admire him though because you know the girls like the bad boys and like so growing up I used to hang with this nigga. He was doing that. I was into all type of stuff. Just because I'm being a follower at the time before uh -huh. I realized like that's not who I am. That's not my character. I, I shouldn't be doing all this. So, you know, I'm the man who I am now, but at that point I'm following him and mine this nigga. He he with the shit. So And his name was Tommy? No, that's not his name. Oh, so I okay. took it out. <laughs> I was gonna say he probably hella mad at your nah, ass. Nah, nigga so, over here getting rich off me. <laughs> nah, nah. So what so what I did was I changed the name. Uh -huh. So I really put it was really like Tommy Hill figure and I I had a shirt. I ain't used to dress like that. Uh -huh. It was a white t-shirt and I just drew Tommy Real nigga, like Tommy Hill figure. So that's oh. really how the name came about. Cause I used to, with the Tommy Hill figure, I used to say that. I used to walk around like, man, Tommy Real nigga, before I even created the character. So when I thought of mimicking it, I just gave it that name I used to play around with. Mm. So that's how that came about. Uh -huh. And I'm just really just was flowing with that, flowing with that. And to, to which, like you said, uh -huh. you didn't think Sonny Bull was gonna take up. Nigga, I was just doing it to be funny, and I had other characters. Uh -huh. 
and just so happened. Because so, when did you start Tommy Real Nigga? 2014, 2015, somewhere yeah. around that. Late 14 or early 15, around there. I can't really remember. Damn, bro. I swear to God, I think Sonny Boy was created 2000. 2000 I know it was 2014. I was I late. If, if, if I did do it in 14, it definitely was later in 14 we or might early that in 15. Shit the same year, I swear. Because I started comedy in 2012, 2013. I did the whole year. And then I peep, okay, this shit. This shit about ticket sales. I need to do something on the internet. Yeah. So 2014 is when I had to start signing. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to click the hashtag, the Tommy Real Nigga hashtag, and because I hashtag all of them, I've been yeah. hashtagging it. So I had to go look at that to see. So it may be early 15. Or yeah. You probably beat me to it. Wow. You probably beat me to it. Um, but we guaranteed the first people on social media. With, with a gangster yeah, character, bro. Gu guaranteed. Guaranteed. Like, guaranteed. I, nigga, I used to walk around <laughs> I used to walk around the house uh -huh. aggravating my mama. She used uh -huh. to be like, stop, boy, shut up. Like, get out of here. And I used to walk around, and I was like, really, I'll put my pants down to my knees. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I'd be walking around. She's like, boy, pick up. I'm like, mom, look, if you ain't gangster like this, you ain't gangster at all. You just having yeah, fun and just playing. Just having fun. Oh, mama. Before I even thought about being a comedian, that was just my personality, just doing stupid shit, like playing, uh, changing my voice to, you know, acting like this, acting like I'm from here, acting like I'm from there. Mm -hmm. And uh, man, that shit just, I guess, just been in me. I just ain't. I didn't know that it was gonna turn to this. Facts, right? I wanted to be a rapper. Like that was my. I was like, nigga, I'm a rapper. I'm gonna be the. Yeah, you wanna, wanna be the, yeah. a real nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? On my mama, yeah. like nigga, like you like, know, what I'm did, for real. And then, like, even when I was doing uh, the rap shit, and then uh, they had the Instagram, they started doing the videos. So I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm seeing people post funny videos. I'm naturally funny. Got put out of class, class clown type shit. Just always been me. So, man, I'm gonna just do some funny videos but still post my music mm -hmm. and to gain some more followers so that way because I was out the trunk with the music and then now I can have a digital fan base yeah right but I ain't really like doing it like that because like you say nigga won't be a real nigga I'm like nigga I ain't with the funny shit nigga oh, my mama <laughs> Cause I, want, I want a nigga to take me serious but now it's like it is what it is like fuck I'm, but the crazy part about yeah. it is people I think people identify that though. They feel it on you. I think with through the content and people have to meet you sometimes too. Cause mm -hmm. it's like, I always like to this day, like that should still matter to me. Like I don't want people walking up. Like it's crazy to hear from a comedian, but I'm not the comedian. Just when you walk up on me, you just fucking laugh and roast. Like, yeah. I'm one of the niggas like, I like, when people meet me, I can respect people. Be like, nigga, bro, me too. what's up with you, bro? I fuck with what Boy. you got going on, bro. Ooh, keep mm -hmm. that shit lit. It's like, bro, I appreciate yeah. that, bro. You feel me? It's like, yeah. that's all I wanted. I didn't want yeah. motherfuckers to be, I didn't want to lose respect over yeah. me being funny. Yeah, nah, and, and <laughs> but I think, like you said, it has everything to do with your character and your vibe. Like, niggas yeah. feel that, niggas sense that. Oh, so, I think I done had, I, true story, I done been in situations, right, to where, like, I'm standing outside one time, Dude pull up on a bike, he a fan. He like, man, what's up? This and this and that, whoop, That's a car pull up. Black car, they kind of pull up slow. I'm looking, this nigga clutched. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking maybe that's one of his ops. I'm ready to get out the way, like, hold on, nigga. It roll the window down, it's, it's my partner. Mm -hmm. Somebody I know, and they on some, yeah, that's how I knew all those niggas is, gonna creep up, like, yeah, that's how it happened to you, nigga. That's just how it happened to you. So he do that, uh, and immediately when I see him, before I could say anything, the nigga pull his shit out. Mm -hmm. He like, man, you know this nigga? I'm like, whoa, yeah, I do. <laughs> Calm down. And he he was like, oh, cause nigga can't be coming around here fucking with you. Like you, you, like you got the city lit right now. Nigga can't fuck with you. Nigga ain't touching you around this bitch. Oh, and he didn't even what well, he knew of me. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know him, but he was ready to like shoot a nigga for me. And I'm like, yeah. damn. Like, yeah. so that's the kind of love. It's like a the level of love, the level of respect, nigga. I had one moment, son. This shit crazy. Uh Niggas into it, they fussing. They got a little spot in the seven wall. Mm -hmm. uh, a little, a little spot, I forgot the name of it. But they outside, they fussing, dog. And then one nigga, like, pulled out a gun and he just, like, I'm like, oh shit, but my sister stayed around there. So I'm going by my sister's house. So I'm like, fuck. I just start walking fast, but I'm like, walking behind the nigga with the gun. He got the gun. Mm -hmm. So let me walk behind this nigga, right? Uh huh. The nigga seen me. He like, oh shit, tuck the gun. Told his partner, man, look at it. Snapped up. The commotion went down immediately. The other niggas walked off. I said, what the fuck just happened? I'm taking a picture with the nigga, but I'm like, ooh, <laughs> what the yeah. fuck just happened? But 
that was a different level of respect that day. That shit fucked me up. I'm like, nigga, you. Yeah. So I've been, I've been looking for the other nigga that got away because you owe me, nigga. I saved your life, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, we gotta start charging niggas. Charging. Tommy niggas. real nigga gotta start, start charging. You feel me? Calm it down situations. Yeah. Oh my a situation calm it down, oh, nigga. Oh my <laughs> Now I thought making uh Sonny Bo uh uh a security guard instead of a rapper for that reason. Because yeah. of his everybody cool with the people that's not cool. Sonny Bo cool with them niggas. Yeah. You feel me? Like what you said. Yeah. So it's like, I think one thing people don't realize when you create a online presence, you have to walk around and be mindful of the energy and the people that might know you. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, for instance, like, Tommy Real nigga, he's a gangster character, so it's going to be gangster niggas that know him. Mm -hmm. And that's real fans. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's when I created Sonny Bo, I didn't realize that, but that's luckily that that's naturally who I am and I come from that environment yeah. where it don't bother me and I appreciate yeah. it. You feel me? But um that that's that's something to be mindful and of. That's, for and sure. I think it's the, it's the same thing. Like even being a follower of that and admiring my cousin means I've been around this shit. Yeah. I come up around this shit, so I'm yeah. familiar with a lot of it. Yeah. So it still instilled some stuff in me. So like being aware, being, you know, it's, it's moments to where like, you know, I could really peep shit. Like I really be in tune with everything. <laughs> yeah. Funny story. Uh, so uh, it might be like last year or something. I'm talking to my cousin, the real Tommy real nigga, right? Uh -huh. And I hadn't seen him in like a little minute. Uh -huh. So we running it, we just catching up. And uh, I got my I got my gun on my hip because mm -hmm. fuck, we in the ninth ward. And mm -hmm. we, it's no spicy. matter where you at in New Orleans, yeah, you need to be. Yeah, it's spicy, right? guaranteed. So, I'm just talking to them, and they had a car pull up, mm -hmm. and just about peeping your environments. They're not really pulling up, they're just kind of passing through, but I noticed they start slowing down. But I look, mm -hmm. and I could just peep the energy. I'm looking through the windows, and the niggas looking, and it's like, their faces is like lit. Mm -hmm. Like, it's almost like, oh shit, that's, that's the nigga, that's, that's Rob Cotton. So immediately, I, I, I sensed it. I sensed, oh, they ain't on nothing. Mm -hmm. They just fans. I could see it. Uh huh. He ain't see yeah, that. Yeah, he ain't known that. He ain't used he to it. He ain't see that. Yeah. He like, man, what the fuck y'all looking at him? He went to cut. He went to gone off on. I'm like, well, chill, 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 chill. I'm like, well, you know, spoke to him, whatever. They just kind of kept it pushing. To this day, mm -hmm. if y'all watching this, that was the real time and y'all almost got <laughs> fucked up. Because that's, <laughs> he was with it. Like, that nigga was ready. I'm like, nigga, you getting that's older. That's like, hella you still, funny. And you still on that. Relax. Now, he, yeah. he, he's like a lot calmer, though. Yeah. A lot calmer, but just... Just paranoid. You know, I, I you know something I've been uh like being mindful of that it's crazy that um uh, like you could do the same shit. I've been trying to like make it like a term where if somebody like uh in the Bay Area culture, you know, it's like if somebody from the Bay Area and they acting how we act, yeah. You could kinda I kinda wanna be like, uh, like he a Sonny Bo. Yeah. Basically saying like that nigga with the shit or he yeah. feel me here, Sonny Bo. Yeah. Because it's like Sonny Bo been around for so long. He's part of the culture where everybody know yeah. like what a Sonny Bo, who yeah. Sonny Bo is to that's, the point it's like, oh bro, that's a Sonny Bo. That's feel funny. me so in New Orleans, like you feel that's, me? It's kinda a like, thing what's already. It? Kevin Kevin Gates is a is a Tommy Real nigga. Well no, but like, here's the thing. That's a thing already. Uh -huh. That's oh, a thing really? already. Yeah, nigga would send me like uh -huh. Uh, DM yeah. of somebody who might have big clothes on or like somebody who kind of like cutting up a, off or just, you know, yeah. just out here and they be like, man, look at Tommy. Yeah. Oh, he Tommy. Yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes I see it. Yeah. I'm looking, I'm like, oh shit, look at look at Tommy. Watch how Tommy coming. Like, yeah. So I kind of already, well, it's already kind of a thing, so I know yeah. exactly what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, it's like, so, but it has to be like a a, a coin, like, yeah. like to the point of like, like uh, bling bling. Yeah. Like when you, yeah. When you see, you you know you know it. You talking about diamonds or shine? You know, you know what I'm it. saying? But it's, it's it's crazy, man. Yeah, but yeah, it, but like you were saying earlier, I seen, I did know, Lewis. Uh -huh. I know Lewis Belt before. That's crazy, yeah. right? I knew of the the real person first. So how then did you discover me? I think I was uh was I was I 85 South page or something I was on and you was in the video and I was uh, just clicking the tags trying to see you know like who these niggas is who these is you know just clicking uh, and uh and I click your page and I'm going through it mm -hmm. and I'm laughing I'm like man dude funny then uh, I seen the sunny bullshit uh, 
and it was I think it was a uh, you was sitting in the you was doing something and you were just talking crazy. You were just talking greasy. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing. I'm like, this shit funny. Uh -huh. And uh, and then I seen a video. It was a music video. I forgot how it went, but that shit was funny. And I'm like, okay, dude, dude, funny. That's when I uh. I went to DM you and I seen you had hit me up already. And yeah. I'm like, oh shit, that's dope. So uh, that's shit. crazy because a lot of people like from my hometown don't understand that Lewis, but I think they understand now. But it's just when you get, it's just when you discover a person off something, you just don't understand the, yeah. the other shit. So like a lot of people from my hometown don't understand that it's so many people that know Lewis Belt and don't know who Sonny Bo yeah, is type I know shit. both of them. You so see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, my whole thing was Sonny Bo was gonna introduce Lewis Belt to the world. So now I'm catching myself, not catching myself, I've been doing it on purpose where I'm like, okay, Lewis Belt just gotta introduce Sonny Bo to the world. Yeah. But it comes to the point where it's like, uh, you know, it's like, damn, that that's crazy. So that's recent. Cause shout out eighty five, shout out the team. You feel yeah, me? Um, yeah, that's recent. Yeah. And yeah. I think I may have seen. I still think, but when I seen you, you still look familiar. And I know yeah. I have seen you before. Uh huh. But that was my first time, like really going through your pace. But so I have seen you prior to the eighty five South. Uh huh. But I don't think I went through your pace. But I still seen you and not Sunny Boat. Yeah. Um. Fuck, it was something. I don't know what yeah, it was, but yeah, I seen yeah. explore page, something, you know how that shit be. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, man, that shit, that shit really came, you know, full circle. I'm like, okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Funny. Yeah, uh, you know, it's the Cali kickback, you understand me? We ain't yeah, here indeed. chopping game, you understand me? Putting paint where it ain't, you understand me? Uh, you know, this thug <laughs> mansion, man, on the West Coast, man. So we up here chopping game. Yeah. I got Rob Kazi in the building, man, straight from New Orleans, man. Yeah, dude. Huh? You know, I got a nigga, niggas like to start off with like, y'all know who it is, y'all don't. It's it's Rob Kaiser though, it's like he said. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man, I've been I've been um uh, I've been tapped in with you for some years, uh, because I didn't see nobody at the time doing something similar. I, like, you know, I had something similar with and then what I realized with even Tommy, the real nigga, right? Right. And and Sonny Bo, I had to I realized um I had to go through, um, how would I say, a transition where, as a comedian, Sonny Bo not a comedian, you feel me? Mm -hmm. um, he's just my alter ego. So as a comedian, I had to really just stand on like, all right, I'm promoting Sonny Bo more than myself as Lewis Belt. Like, yeah. I, I always went back and forth with Sonny Bo, but yeah. it was like Sonny Bo interacted with Lewis Belt because I kind of separated it. I was a stand-up comedian before my um my character, before yeah. I did the character. Was you a stand-up comedian before your character? No, okay. I was, like I said, I was doing music and that's what it yeah. was. And then when I, I just started doing sketch comedy uh -huh. only to promote my the music. music. Oh, and shit. then I started getting, I, I was like, once I get to 10,000, mm -hmm. I'm done. I hit 10K and I start getting DMs about, oh, you changed my mood, and, oh, that was so funny, and whoop, whoop, and I'm like, damn, I'm doing this for people. So I, it kind of got me a little more into into that. And then uh, as I kept going, as I kept going, my followers was going up, and then I got around stand-up comedians. Uh -huh. And then I got some videos, I might just sit and talk, and people laughing. Uh -huh. And then other stand-up comedians who had respect for me would be like, hey, bro, like, you need to try stand-up. And I'm like, mm, nah, and they like, Nigga, like you that you just posting the videos talking. Uh huh. That's funny. Like get on stage and talk. Like the same shit you saying on that. Say it on stage. That stand up. You got it. Like and it was and and it felt good coming from stand up comedians because they're like, well, maybe I do have it because they telling me. And uh, shout out DC Young Fly. That was actually that was uh, shout out Fly man. Shout yeah, out Fly me. was in Atlanta. Atlanta was actually the first time I did stand up. Wow. Yeah. For real? So like, what year was this? It was like. 2015. 2015. So it was around Fly when he first kind of started. Yeah. So uh -huh. it was 2015. We we sitting there. We talking. I'm saying something. Fly start laughing. He you know he he just like that's funny. You know how you be. That's mm -hmm. funny. So he like man, you should get up there. We going to Cloud Nine. I think that was the name of the spot. Cloud Nine and the A. And uh, they went and what well, we went. I I went up there. Probably did like four minutes and like. 
I ain't rock it, but Wait, that was your first time. That was performing. my first time. They laughed. They was it, laughing. And Fly was there. Yeah, oh. yeah. He was one of the ones that was like, "Get up there, encouraging nigga. you." Yeah. yeah. So I got up there. I did good. It was solid set. You know, people was like, "Hey, good set, good set." And I'm like, "Y'all niggas don't know, nigga. I'm scared as a motherfucker up there." But just my natural funny carried it, and mm -hmm. they liked it. And then I was like, "Okay." And then eventually, I got pulled into the stand up world. So swear that's crazy. Yeah. So was you living in Atlanta at the time? Nah, I was you uh, just visiting and you just went to up? a shitty three sixty deal. Uh, uh, on some fuck fly was signing that too, but you know, mm. for, and luckily we got out of that shit in Flourish. But um, but yeah, so we was on this uh, we was on the same label at the time. So I was oh, out there that for a shitty few weeks. Situation. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. he was a part of that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you heard of it? Yeah, that was yeah. part of that. <laughs> Damn, I'm I, man, I'm glad you niggas made it yeah. out. <laughs> Yeah, for real. Yeah. But nah, that, so that was dope. So after so. you went up the first time, how consistent was you would go at when you went back? I wasn't. You I wasn't, was, right? Yeah, <laughs> I was. Because that's, nigga, whoo, but my fucking nerves used to like get the best of me. And I'm like, ah, oh, I'm like, okay. So then I had this thing I used to do. I'd get up there and I would keep wiping my hands on my pants because my hands would be sweating like crazy. Uh, so I, I I would then I ain't even put it in my bio like I was about to put stuff I'm like I'm not gonna put that shit in my bio because people don't try to book me I want to do it when I want to do it yeah yeah but then I just got to a point to where I just had to be real with myself like man I gotta you you gotta face this fear bro if you gonna do this you gotta do this mm -hmm. so then I went ahead and put it in my bio in my bio and people start reaching out and then I would just you know kind of pop up to certain stuff and. Be back there taking a deep breath and in just, New Orleans yeah and then okay. like somebody be like hey you wanna get up there. And in my mind, I'm like, fuck, no, I, you know, that's really it's, why I'm here. Because it's not no comedy club in New Orleans, it's right? Not, it's not comedy. Now, well, right? Now, but at that time. At that time, it yeah. wasn't, but yeah. there were spots that uh -huh. still like bars to where you could go do comedy. There's always been spots and comedy spots, uh -huh. just not a particular club. Yeah. You know, so nothing has a comedy club feel other than a few spots, uh, Comedy House, NOLA, um, they got a few comedy houses around the world, so th that's our only true comedy club, mm -hmm. you know. But you have other places like High Ho Lounge, other stuff that Holland Wolf to where they it's a great setting for stand up. Mm -hmm. But there's other events that goes on and stuff like that, oh, so it's not yeah, mainly yeah. stand. But with Comedy House Nola, that's it. It's just stand up comedy. Oh, that's okay. it. Nothing else goes on. It's just a comedy room. Oh, okay. I ain't know that. Yeah. Yeah, damn. So I, I did not know that. I didn't know that you had your online presence, and then you was you was a rapper, and then you wanted you didn't want to do stand up, but no. the the fans there near kind of was like yeah made you want to be like I'm like a, yeah. And mm -hmm. then I st when I was doing it, people was just telling me how natural it was, and oh man, you funny. And then there's you know. Like it was other people that's been like, oh, I've been in the game for 12 years and this many years, and I would go up there and rock that bitch like harder than they did, mm. and uh, and I was like, damn, like you know. So I what made just, you get consistent? Um, oh, that's a good question. So what made me get consistent was two, uh, right before uh the pandemic. So right before the pandemic, I was on tour, uh, and I I. We was like maybe four cities in, mm -hmm. and I was killing it. Mm -hmm. But I killed it, and then I think that four city, like one of the guys that went before me, he rocked out. Mm -hmm. So I, in my mind, I'm like, all right, I'm funny. I'm gonna just go do what I do, but I don't think I'm gonna top that because that nigga cut up. And I went out there, and I did. Mm -hmm. Standing ovation, and for, I, and I, I wasn't expecting that. I'm like, oh, damn. So that day, mm -hmm. I was, or the next day, I was just sitting there thinking, I'm like, damn, like, with my music, I always gave it my all, give it my all, my sketch comedy, I give it my all, like, everything I ever did or everything I do, I give it my all. Yeah. I never at that time gave stand up my all. That was just me just yeah it was a hustle and so me just being naturally funny you coming from social media right you booming on social media mm -hmm. com stand up comedy not your passion did you look at stand up comedy like a hustle like yeah if they got some chicken for me you feel me yeah I'll yeah. do it but yeah. you know if it ain't about no real money yeah. then I'm cool like was, you ain't doing no you feel me few hundred dollar yeah. shows it's like yeah. 
If that's it's about some paper, yeah. then I go up there and risk me. Yeah. Damn, that's for exact, real? That's exactly what it was. It was like, it's just about money. But that day... I hated niggas like you. That, but look, and I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> look, I'm like, this was fucking up the game. The yeah. internet niggas, but, man. But, 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 here, but here it is. Like, but what was helping me was I was actually funny. Mm. But I still, deep down inside, I didn't love it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, it, I liked it, but I didn't love it. But I think that night, like I said, when I rocked that bitch like that, it, it kind of hit me. I was like, well, damn. I, if I'm this good and not really, it's how good? I start challenging myself. I'm like, I wonder how good I could be, how how much better my storytelling could get if I really like put that pen to the pen. Like, let me get serious with this shit. Yeah, so right. when I told myself, let me get more serious with this shit. Mm -hmm. And uh, man, when I told myself that, that my anxiety went down, those nerves went down. Yeah, you still get nerves before shows, but mm -hmm. like those nerves went down, that hand sweating shit, that stopped. Yeah. Like when that mic touched my hand, I'm nerves, what nerves? How, how is it coming from, cause your social media really, was taken off because of Tommy Real nigga, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah. how was it? How was it going on stage? Did you ever do Tommy Real nigga on stage, or you came out as Rob Kazi? No, I can't. No, Rob Kazi, right? definitely. I had so to how how it. was that? How did people like you promote? Like everybody love you on social media mm -hmm. as this character, and yeah. then you getting booked for a show, and then you not being a character. How was how? What was your thought process during that? Man, that shit was crazy. Cause I, you know what's crazy? Like they had some people that would just appreciate good comedy. Mm -hmm. Then it was spots to where, thing I never forget because this stood out. It was uh, what was I in um, Baton Rouge, mm -hmm. and this was like a while back. I nigga, I rocked that bitch. Mm -hmm. And then after the show, they had a few people that wasn't pleased. They was and I was like, "What well, damn, you ain't enjoyed?" They were like, "No, you were funny. Like you was like the funniest one." But we wanted Tommy. And that fucked me up. I was just, I was kind of mad on my way home. I'm like, why the fuck? I was the funniest one and you still telling me about a character? You stupid. Oh, mama. I was mad. And yeah. so it just let me know, like, but, you know, I, I didn't, you know, what I did was I came up with a bit. Mm -hmm. So now I have a Tommy bit. So now, you know, but I'm still me. Yep. But what I would do is I would use tell his mannerisms and use his, I would, I would get to it. But uh, but I, I do got a prop like so I will pull a red rag out my back pocket and mm -hmm. the crowd go fucking crazy. Oh, okay. So but I had you know you of course you got to market for it. If I'm there and not to really many people know who I am, you can't do that joke. But if I'm anywhere like down south and they like Tommy, yeah. then I'ma do my stand up as myself. Uh huh. And then they laugh and they laugh and then I'll get to that bit to where like I right, you to know to please your fans. Yeah. And then so that you know joke your hit. areas. You feel yeah. me? Where you gotta. You feel me? Pull it yeah, off. Laughing at bad rules. Have Wall, you ever a did it? Have you ever did a show in a city where you thought they knew Tommy Real nigga and they didn't know him and you tried? Yo, nah, nigga. And I, then they don't know what the fuck you talking thing, about. I think once I really like start doing that bit, mm -hmm. I I was more seasoned. Mm -hmm. So like, I ain't gonna just do it. Like, nigga, I'm confident on stage, so I ask you. I'm like, man, who, who, you know, who, who know who the fuck are you? Nah, I, I ask. Yeah. But so I, I ain't going to just try it, nigga. Like, and they be like, y'all know Tommy? And then it has to some spots to where they like, nah. And I just like, all right, well, fuck it. And then I just jump in there. I'm sitting, they just laughing. So that, That's dope. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Because <laughs> like, yeah, I never I never know where people know Sonny Bo. You yeah, but just me? ask them. I like ask that. Them. Nigga, right? you funny. So yeah. if you ask them, they like nothing like, Jump into some other shit. Like, yeah. I'll fuck them up because I might ask that. Uh -huh. And like, one time I asked, I asked it and like, it kind of got quiet and nobody asked. What are we smokers at this month? <laughs> oh, mama, it's Bitch, a transition. A, yeah. like Single lady, where you at? <laughs> oh, mama. Yo, make some noise. Y'all looking good. <laughs> Damn, that's Fuck crazy, that. bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to use that. I like that because yeah. I always just separate it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? To the point where it's like, in, I, in, in certain jurisdictions, you understand me, I know, you feel me, where they know Sonny yeah. Bo at, you feel yeah. me? But they may know, because some, yeah. some spot surprised me and was like, yeah, yeah, we do. And I was like, oh, shit, okay. Yeah, they be throwing me off, yeah. you feel me? But I got uh, so different uh, different fans from different shit, it be crazy. Yeah, that's 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 raw, though. That's uh, that's different, yeah. for yeah. sure. So just bring that shit. Bring, I had to figure out a way to bring that shit on stage. But, uh -huh. you know, I ain't going to lie. I, I hated being called Tommy at the... At one point, like time could buy and gone viral. Mind you, before Tommy went viral, I already had like maybe eighty thousand. Mm -hmm. So I had like eighty thousand followers. So I 
somewhat of you know de- that's a decent size fan base. That's a yeah, decent, yeah, that's a sure. real decent fan base. But I, and I was always versatile. I always I always was a nigga online like super versatile. Like oh this nigga got this character that character. Oh you remind me of a, a modern day Eddie Murphy. Oh you remind me of this. You remind yeah, me of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I always got that. So when Tommy popped off and the shit went to going crazy, and it was like Tommy, give us Tommy. I will post Tommy, but then I might post another character. Mm-hmm. And they were like, oh, Tommy, like I got a mechanic character. They were like, oh, Tommy fixing the car, this shit funny. I'm like, that's not Tommy, that's yeah, Earl. Like, it's yeah. clear, <laughs> like, you know? And like, I might do another character. And they were like, oh, uh, Tommy a pimp. And I'm like, no, that's char-. like, yeah. nigga, t- like, and, and, and then they might call me Tommy. And then I, I kind of went on a rant one time. I uh-huh. just went on online and I just kind of went off. The video didn't stay up long, you know? Uh, shout out to some people that actually love me and fuck with me that called me ASAP and was like, nigga, take that down. You got this new found fan base. What you can't don't you can't do that. Yeah. You can't go like, like go directly at your fan base like yeah, that. You they, can't be mad because they love you. They they love you. Yeah. And I you know I was just like man, but I'm versatile. Like I don't want to be put in no box. And with this and that, and she was like, yeah, it was like super scent at the week. Shout out super scent. Mm-hmm. Um, she was like, yeah, but you know you need to take that down. So I deleted it while I was on the phone with her. Uh-huh. You know we kind of got the rest of the conversation. Cause you off. was upset people calling you Tommy yeah, real nigga. But it, but outside of character, they was calling my other characters Tommy real nigga. Uh-huh. It like it was like come on man, like yeah. I'm Rob Kaiser. So yeah. what happened was after that I kind of like took a deep breath, I smoked, mm-hmm. and then nigga, God gave me a genius idea, uh-huh. and it's on YouTube right now. It's Rob versus Tommy. So now I really had to sit and think. So I'm like in the house, Tommy in there, and like we, I'm talking to myself. Mm-hmm. Like I'm talking to Tommy. Yep. And I'm letting all that frustration that I want to tell the fans, uh-huh. I'm telling it to Tommy. Mm. But mm-hmm. I really had time to think. So Tommy is hitting me with valid points. Mm-hmm. So it's like I ain't been just one sided with it. I had to be real genius about it. So yeah. Tommy is hitting me with shit like, you you mad cause I'm putting you on? Yeah. Like, and you know, yeah. around the time he had a video with Odell Beckham, so he like, nigga, I'm chilling with Odell Beckham. Like a dog got the world saying my sayings. Same, you know, saying what I say. I'm doing this, and nigga, I got you lit. Yeah. Fuck wrong with you. And I'm like, yeah, I feel that, but you know, and I'm giving my points. Yeah. You know, yeah. and then towards the end it kind of ended on some like, you know, I always be, you know, uh eventually, you know, you're gonna get old. Yeah. And I'ma still be here. To create something new, me, Facts. Rob Kaiser, exactly, Kaiser's. yep. And like I'm the creator, so yeah. it ended on some like, nigga, I'm I'm still in control. Yeah. So it kind of ended like I'm still in control, but time is still hot, he's still lit, and I'm gonna let him have it. And then after that, I embraced it, and I mm-hmm. start posting more time. I still, but I, you still gotta be smart. I'm gonna post these other characters. Mm-hmm. I might give you Tommy more, but I'm gonna still give these other characters because y'all not about to box me in. But I'm not gonna yeah. tell y'all that. Yeah. I'm gonna just force y'all to not box me in by posting other shit. Exactly. And it eventually was like. Tommy cool, but nigga, I like the pimp. Uh, I like this one. Oh, nigga, the crackhead character. Oh, this. Uh, yeah. You know, but then honestly, when people go on my page and they be like, oh, the characters, if you really look on my page, the videos that go viral the most mm-hmm. is me. Exactly. Like no, like yeah. the little sex slave shit that went crazy. Yeah. The fucking fish out of water when I had the little white recently just, every, it just be me just yeah. doing the most off the wall dumb sometimes, shit. Sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes we got a character and the character take off. Sometimes you get you could kind of you believe in a character more than you. Yeah, you know, like yeah. I know speaking from experience, I know if I do Sonny Bo, this shit gonna go crazy. Yeah. Everybody gonna fuck with it. But then if I don't do Sonny Bo, and then you know what I'm saying it's like oh you know it's that risk like that fear of being like nigga where's Sonny Bo at you feel yeah. me you gotta overcome only. How I overcame, I put I put Sonny Boy in jail for a year. Stopped mm. doing it for a whole year. You feel me? And I said Sonny Boy went to jail because I start no I start noticing like, bro, people fucking with Sonny Boy and don't even know all the other gifts and talents. Yeah, and you know how, yeah. how talented I am, bro. Yeah. Motherfuckers thinking I'm Sonny Boy type of yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, you start like internally, you start hating yourself. Yeah. Not like in real, but you see what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga, like, I hate it, like, Tommy. Like, nigga, my name Lewis, <laughs> bro. Stop calling me Sonny Bo, nigga, for I really, but yes. niggas is really turning into, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga, I'm Man. really outside, uh, like, bro, who are you talking to, nigga? Yeah. I'm not Sonny Bo, son, nigga. I was, nigga, I ain't gonna lie, son. My name Lewis, nigga. I was a bitch ass nigga, I was, cause I was big hating on Tommy. I was big hating on it, Tommy. It comes I'm to like, a point, cause you can love that nigga yeah. when it first yanked. 
But and it's I'm like, like oh, this shit is blowing me up. And then I was like, fuck, I hate this nigga. Yeah. This oh nigga my. getting all the love. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh. fuck, like, this other shit I just posted, that shit was genius. Yeah. How the fuck they ain't see the genius nigga, in I that? just performed for 30 minutes. Yeah. Man. Hella funny stand up. Y'all so, nigga, I did, <laughs> I did a video. Man, I did, it was videos that I yeah. would do. Man, that yeah. shit would pop. Like, and I ain't gonna lie, some of them would pop and like really do good. But yeah. I'd be going through the comments. They'd be like, Man, you should have did it as Tommy. It would have been funnier. Yeah. But sometimes, like, it don't even call for, like, if you really look at the skit, it might have been some nerd shit or this or this and this. Yeah. Like, that, that, Tommy wouldn't even fit. Like, oh, my some mom, of them right? Just be, shit, sir, shit. Talking. I put, I put Sonny Boy in jail for a whole year, and um, I was just doing myself, doing my shit, doing my shit, and then MTV reached out to me, and um, I was I was um, able to be on um, Are You The One? Shout out MTV. Um, I was yeah, on Ari the One. Y'all need to reach out to me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my son, so tap in with my nigga Rob, man. Yeah, you understand me? Uh, but like, I was able to be on the uh, on the show Ari the One, and when MTV reached out to me, they didn't even know who Sonny Bo was. So it just made me think, like, damn, like, how many times, like, could this shit happen sooner if I didn't take this Sonny Bo shit on one as much? You kind of see what I'm saying? Like, mm. it's some people that, it's probably hella people that ran across our page yeah. in our Sonny Bo shit, uh, Tommy Real nigga, but they like, that's funny, but that don't fit this show. Yeah. Rob yeah. Kazi might fit yeah. this TV show. Like, on some TV shit, it fit you. Louis Bell yeah. on some TV shit, it fit. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's probably opportunities. We gaining opportunities. But you also. But we could possibly lose it because we, mm -hmm. everybody in the in the trenches love us. Yeah. But these motherfucking execs and people that make movies. Yeah, they produce, looking like, they yeah, like, it's a little raunchy. It's, it's too a little raw. Is. Yeah. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So it's like the the, the the fan base we attract, and you can't get that if you ain't raw. Yeah. But then some opportunity you might not be getting because we too yeah. raw. And that's the part that uh, 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 your fan base might have yeah. to understand. My fan base yeah. understand, bro. Like, but I think when, when they <laughs> when they love you, they going to love you. But you just right? got to create a perfect balance. You see what I'm so saying? So right now, I got the balance. So right now, I'm still going to give you Tommy. You feel but me? But I'm going to give you this, I'm going to give you this, I'm going to give you that, I'm going to give you that. Because it was at the point to where like people would be seeing me in public and it just, oh, just Tommy, Tommy. Now it's like, oh, nigga, that 13th century shit you do, I love that. They be like, oh, man, I seen you one of your shows. Like, so right now, I've really been like having my get, my foot on a pedal for a stand-up. Exactly. Like, I've been doing stand-up, but I'm like, let me start posting some snippets on my page. Let me start really hitting some, let me hit Hollywood improv. Let me hit this. Let me hit... So, when you next time you see me, it's like, oh, the video you're acting. No, niggas, stop mentioning my stand up. But I understand I gotta earn that respect. Yeah, I gotta earn it. Cause, what, cause I know I've been doing. It. I know my dog with it. Cause but, when I had you on the show, right? That's how I knew the girl know you, right? Yeah. Cause I was like, uh, I got my nigga from New Orleans. He on the show and all the shit. And um, I told, her, I said, I, I fuck with his shit. I think he hella funny, but I ain't seen the stand up. So we gonna see. <laughs> told her straight up like that. Yeah. She's like, yeah. She, she was curious. She was like, yeah, I'm curious to see if he funny well, as not the character, as yeah. a stand-up comedian. So it was like, that's the that's the thing that we we know what we can do. We know what we've been doing, but yeah. everybody ain't seen that. And they got to see it. So that's the part where now it's like, I respect. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I understand you might not know. I'm, You know, I get right. the thing where pe people like, I've been a stand-up comedian for 10 years now. I started at 18. I'm 28. So it's like, I get the thing where this how I know somebody don't know me when people be like, oh, he like he trying to be like Mike Epps. You just not familiar yeah. with me. Yeah. I used to get mad at it. Like, yeah. nigga, I be fucked up. Oh, you just don't, you ain't locked in with my shit enough to right. know, so you just thinking. You know what I'm right. saying? So it's like, or when people don't, if people ain't updated with my career and keep following me, they'll say Sonny Bo. You feel yeah. me? Like, oh, that's Sonny, what's up, Sonny Bo? It's like, oh, this nigga ain't really a fan yeah. no more. This nigga just know me from some old shit. Right. Feel me? Because people that really know me, you know, you know, they know exactly what the style is. It ain't Sonny Bo, it ain't no other comedian. It's just, oh, okay, he got yeah. his own little shit. But I had to understand, I had to put it out there. I had to put my stand up yeah, out there. You like, got to. Because it's like, as a comedian, you think like, bro, I ain't finna give you niggas no free show. Y'all need to come and support and buy the tickets and yeah. just come to the show. But then it's like, nigga, that if you ain't come to the show, you don't know what a nigga about. Yeah. So you got to put it you out there to get the respect. This nigga funny. You feel so me? So you had, and that was a nice, that was a handful of people last night that that did know who I was. Mm -hmm. 
And that same handful of people came after the show was like, oh, nigga, like, your set, oh, you was funny and whoop whoop. So now I gained a different you respect. Did, exactly. So now it's like, oh, even you, you like, you seen it now. Yeah. Like, we had to talk beforehand. You was like, oh, fuck, I don't know, but you know, I feel like you funny. <laughs> yeah. But now you got to see it to yeah. be like, okay, okay. Yeah. So that's like, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother thing where it's like, okay, I'm understanding that a lot of stuff, that shit used to frustrate me, you know, like, nigga. When you know when you got a fan base, you start feeling like nigga, like nigga, you know who I am type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. on the under, but some people really just yeah, don't, don't know, bro. They don't. It ain't no disrespect. It be people like you do stand up, yeah, yeah. and been following me for years, and I'm like nigga, I've been posting some snippets here and there, like you know, cut your notifications on, nigga. Like <laughs> 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 nah, but you know, so that's yeah. kind of what made me start going harder with it, cause I'm like, damn, these niggas really don't know, like how versatile, like how gifted I really am. Yeah. Like, you know, and I, and, I'm, and and another thing, I'm starting to like really love stand up more and really put more time into it and st storytelling and building on it and yep. stretching jokes, you know, so that's another thing that really got me like, all right, let me. Yeah, you on the craft. Yeah. Hey. Oh, mamas, nah, that, that's some, uh, that's some interesting shit. For sure, for sure. It was something else I wanted to ask you for sure. Uh, Man, it was um, why the fuck I can't think of that shit right now? Um, it was something about uh the transition and you doing stand up comedy and all that. Damn, I can't think of that. It's gonna come to me. How you feel about these fake blue checks Ooh. on Instagram? Oh, fuck, cause you you certified. You feel me? Mm -hmm. You you already you already a legend in, in, in New Orleans in your section all through Baton Rouge all the shit right? Mm -hmm. You solidified. Feel me? But you don't have a, the verification on your thing. Yeah. And now they giving out fake verifications. How you feel about that? I don't, I, it make me feel like I don't want it, bro. I feel, I feel like, man, I put in so much of work, though, to really solidify myself as who I am. Like, I'm really well known out here. Like, even, don't, don't even look at the follow account because you know how many people I run into that be like, oh, I know who you are, that don't follow me. Facts. Nigga, I'm lit. Yeah. I'm I'm verified yeah. in real life. In real life. But it's like honestly how I always felt about the check. People are like, oh, it's not that serious and it's not this and it's not. That's lame people. Mm -hmm. Like you fucking lame. You was not you was a little lame in school and you wanna feel validated too. So it's like, so you say shit like that. But in reality, you know, it's like, and then I seen some comments that was like, oh, we're all humans. Get the fuck out of yeah. here, nigga. We, yes, we all, but the come on now. We know yeah. what the blue check like. Yeah, you can be a human, mm -hmm. but some humans have a higher status than other humans. Let's be honest. Yep. Let's be truthful. So the blue check is more like a well-known. It's more like, oh, I'm a painter, and you know, I got these expensive paints, and the world knows me. A lot of people know me. I'm a famous swimmer, or whatever it may be. It yeah. don't just have to be comedy. Yeah. But you gotta have some sort of motion. <laughs> some sort of motion. Like you can't work at Walmart. Yeah. You can't work at Walmart yeah. and be verified. And it, and it ain't and got, nothing wrong with working at it's, Walmart. No, 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 there's nothing wrong. Bro, why it's, do you need a blue check if yeah. you work in uh, What is it verifying? Not even not even just working. It's just why you need a blue check if you not um a public figure. Simple as that. That's that's what that's it is. That's what it that's is. What if you're not a public figure. If you're not a public figure and you know, I seen one the other day, it was wild. Like this nigga had two selfies. And I think it was a picture of a plate of food. Mm -hmm. 948 followers. And this nigga got the, I said, but this is, it's getting out of hand. First of all, if you are gonna like run this blue check thing, mm -hmm. the people that you offer, offer it to, at least offer it to people that's yeah. been like really grinding and has been struggling upcoming trying to get yeah, upcoming. Or something. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, okay, we're gonna give it to them. But yeah. like now I'm seeing pages. You know, just, just, you know, just your ordinary, you know, just, just, you know, probably some lovely people. But yeah. what are you doing? Like, wh wh what are you doing? Who are you? Are you like, you know, you just kind of everyday bro. life living people. You ain't even got no motion. You're not trying to do. You're not in the industry. You're not a public figure. So it's like, that's what the blue check for me indicates. It indicates a public figure. Yeah. And so now it's like, it should just water down. I like, feel, I feel boozy having my shit. 
Cause it's like you feel me. Oh, that's another that's another bay word that I've been trying to work on, not saying so much. Boosie is a a, a word where it's like you lame or and we fuck with boozy. Yeah. We've been saying boozy. Mm-hmm. We've been saying somebody boozy before Lil Boosie. <laughs> you feel me? So <laughs> Boosie, Lil Boosie name oh, is just Lil Boosie. Boosie. I ain't know what are you talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. yeah if you paid that fifteen ninety nine for that blue chick, <laughs> then get the fuck off my line, man. <laughs> oh, mama. <laughs> Oh, mama, shout out Boosie, man. Yes. But that's but, Boosie. Yeah, but I, uh, nigga, yeah, yeah, yeah. That so, shit crazy, yeah, so bro. Yeah, I, I, I ain't a fan of that. I ain't a fan of that. But, you know, I seen another video was like, man, y'all, it's, it ain't that serious. And, you know, y'all with a blue check. And it made, it's, it's, it's not about being serious. It's about yeah. reality. Yeah, right. Reality is that's what it means. But it's like, we live in a sensitive society right now. Everybody want to be included. I want a blue check too. So I, whatever, but. That's tragic. You know, I feel like it should be deserved, like for real. Like yeah. it should be, you know, should I ain't deserved, gonna lie, like I... sh- earned, rather. Yeah, should be that's earned. crazy, bruh. Should be earned. It should be earned, but it's like, who really started the, Instagram started the blue check. So we can't get mad at what the. Yeah, I mean, so. But it's, it's It means something different now. At first, it meant yeah. public figure. Yeah. Now I'm learning that it means. Somebody just told a real me on person. the comment. Like, I said something. I was joking about it because I don't fuck with it. I think this shit corny. Yeah, I, me too. And uh, somebody was like, somebody said something to me like, don't be mad because you bought your blue check. And it's just like, okay, this shit is going to. I didn't say nothing back. Yeah. Because this shit corny to me. Yeah. Like, now the whole app get corny. Because yeah. it's like, I don't even want to look like a nigga that's one of them. Yeah. You feel me? You got me fucked. I'm ready to I, take my shit off. Don't, but Nate, I don't know how to take because I didn't do none of the shit. They just verified the type so shit. So here it is. Let me put y'all on game. Because I ain't going to lie. I hate all you niggas that's paying this $15. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even going to stunt. <laughs> Almost. I hate so, these niggas. God, I, I can't stand you niggas. Except for, except, hold up. Now, now they may have rolled it out to some people oh, that's geez. really doing some some shit, right? Uh huh. Yeah. And 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 I I feel like maybe deserving of it for sure. I don't really have nothing to say to them for real. Facts. I but you niggas that ain't got nothing going on and you yeah. paying for it. Yeah, I hate you niggas. So yeah. let me. So if you click the the shit. At the top, if you go to the profile and you click at the top, uh huh, where that name, what that, what that blue check, if that bitch say March, two thousand twenty three, yep, it's fake. Fifteen ninety nine. Let me see, cause it's fifteen ninety nine, nigga. Now here, now here's the thing. Now uh-huh. this, this uh-huh. is what I'm scared of, uh-huh. Lou. This is what I'm scared uh-huh. of because I do got motion mm-hmm. and because I do know they're gonna eventually verify me because yeah. I'm not paying for the shit. Yeah. I got it. I'm. I don't want that shit. No, I want to earn my shit. No. Oh, but I feel like that bitch gonna pop up and now I'm part of the 1599 club in their eyes. Yeah. This nigga talked all that shit even no, nigga. It's gonna be hard Once down it pop five. up. Cause even, even <laughs> I, I'm starting to get the feel of you as a person, everything. But when it pop up, I'm gonna be like, man, that nigga just bailed out, man. He couldn't wait. <laughs> I'll be like, that nigga, he paying for that shit. <laughs> I know it. It's I'm, gonna be hard to prove. I'm gonna have to do it, yeah. So, uh, so man, I need Instagram, okay. This is what I need. I need Instagram to come up with a way to where you can see who's been given and who's been, like who who on a subscription. Yeah. Like put subscription in the bio. Right? That way you know, okay, this is a subscription blue check. Yeah. And then I'm making a different color. <laughs> Cause I, I'm going on my right? Make the blue so check, you, make a green. When, when you go green on somebody's checks. page, yeah. you gotta go to the little three dots in the corner to the right. Yeah, no, you can click the name. You can click the name? Let me see. I'm on my page. Oh, you just clicked the name. Oh, okay. Ju- your shit say July 2022. Uh, yeah. You Gucci. So when somebody <laughs> look at that, they know. Uh-huh. Yeah, so you, you can, can do screen this with me. Screenshot that, nigga. Because <laughs> that, because like, Screenshot it. And- <laughs> like, because people, people, that's, people that's not in the entertainment business yeah. or a public figure, they think we just, they, like, I was reading the comments, and some people think, Public figures want the blue check to verify that they somebody. That's not the situation. No, it's not the case. You feel me? Because fuck all that. Yeah. But it's bad for business. It is. Because it's like somebody can, say if you're doing something right and somebody got some fake followers and then they got a fake blue yeah. badge, you feel me? It's like, okay, you could, somebody can send somebody $1,500 or yeah. 
you feel me some money and then be like, no, nah, I'm cool because the last person I spent money with, I yeah. lost money with because uh, this yeah. nigga was a fake but see, but celebrity. I, I think, like, nah, nigga, you ain't gonna lose money with me. I'm official like a referee yeah. whistle on this motherfucker, man. You, you, you gotta, me? You better you check gotta, the date on my <laughs> shit. Check the date, and they gotta really just start. Yeah, it's gonna make these promoters and shit really pay attention to pages. Like, you really gotta, but then I don't know if, what if a nigga, you know, like you say, like, Nigga could buy Buku followers and go take a picture of me and just kind of just put all my videos and oh, put a I'm fake check. And then now, oh, what we got right? But, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's that's, like, that's yeah, real or shit. They could just be the fake Boosie or the fake this or the fake this. And you verify with a million followers and and you that's just- That's not even Boosie yeah. pulling up. <laughs> and you just taking- You got Lil Coogee pulling up. Thinking and you, you just taking Lil pages. Boosie. Because at the end of the day, I think they say, uh, I think you just need an ID. Yeah. All you need is an ID, and it, yeah. because right now it just verifies that you're a person and not a robot. Yeah. Instagram, just delete the fucking robots, you idiots. <laughs> just delete the robots. Why the fuck is you? Just take the bots off, and now you know everybody on there is real, and you got some real people that's verified, some real people that's not. Yeah. Like that's the simpler way. So it verifies that you're a real human. Yeah. So once you do that, you verify as a real human, you change the name to something, take some pictures on your page, oh. buy, pay for some followers, now you lit and you could you just scamming. <laughs> Damn, I never thought of that. Yeah. And it's like, so I ain't gonna lie, so I be clicking followers, I be clicking likes, I be looking at comments, I look at all that shit because I work hard for mine. You go through my followers, you gonna see everything is organic. You go through my likes, nigga, yeah. my comment section be lit. You gonna see my real, ain't no would you fucking, you would post you a funny video and that bitch say nice photo. You know that, then the fucking bots be coming on and just saying, <laughs> the fuck nice. Would you date a girl that got a fake verification that's paying for a, a verification badge? Uh, I mean, I. I I would because I don't I don't care, but I, I don't care. Lie. I don't care that much. No, I ain't gonna I'm lie, just saying bro. this shit showing me a lot about people's character. Yeah. I, I'm taking this shit like I think <laughs> deep. You feel me? Oh my god, because it's like you feel me? Like yeah. it's not wrong, but no, I was I, I feel like this shit is a good thing that's happening. Cause it's kind of like I, I feel you with you yeah. got some shit shaking. Yeah, it's like I let me get yeah. my shit. I wouldn't verified. care as much like oh I wouldn't date it because she got it. It's like wife. My mind don't I'm think talking that, about wife. That, I ain't talking about fuck. No, I don't think I, fuck, I don't. I, well, no, I don't verify, think that, unverified. I don't, I don't think it's. I don't, well, I don't think it's that deep. Like so, when people say it's not that deep, they think it's like deep, deep. For me, I'm just saying public figures. Yep. It should just remain for public figures. If you're not a public figure. I, you shouldn't have it. I ain't gonna that's lie. Just, that's a, that's, that's a, a, that's a, a turn off for me. for me right now, bitch. You got a blue badge and you ain't a celebrity. Yeah. You trying to be somebody you not. You trying to do, you trying to, well, I don't know. I never cared about being famous, bro. Yeah. Like I want the, I want the, I want the bag. Yeah. And for me, for me, okay, so some people don't be knowing, re like, I don't feel like I'm like, oh, I'm just high and my and I'm above a person because they don't have a blue check or yeah. because they live a ordinary. I lived the ordinary life yeah. at one point. I had a nine to five at yeah. one point. You know what I'm saying? But I always been lit. Then, then so you could still be lit and have all that. Facts. But, but are you a public figure? Are you really like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, you could live an ordinary lit life. Yeah. But you don't need a blue check to do that. You don't need a because blue you're check. like we out here getting to the bag and like even with uh, endorsements and 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 and, and partnerships. Yeah, the bag increase when they see that blue check. Yeah, they like okay, what well, fuck? We'll give you this. So that was one of my things. Like shit, I'm trying to get paid more. Yeah, I'm trying to you know. So yeah, that's why it's, that was it's, like it a is, diploma for <laughs> social yeah, media. Yeah. Now He's they like just giving out the blue like, like away, motherfucking so stimulus checks. That shit motherfucker. meaningless now. So now I see a blue check. I don't give a give a fuck. <laughs> Somebody DM me tomorrow. Let's work. I click that bitch March two twenty nigga block. You out of here. Yeah, it's <laughs> over, brother. It's over. So yeah, if you got your shit in March two thousand twenty three, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's over, brother. Yeah, man. Is this your <laughs> first time coming to California? Nah, this like my fourth time. Around? Fourth? Yeah. Oh, my okay. Fourth time out here. Yeah, man. How you like it? I, I love it. I love it. I love it out here. You know, it's about me. You, you, you ever been to the Bay Area? Yeah, I've been to, um, who was in San Francisco? Yeah. Oh, okay. You okay. was in Oakland too? Yeah, you know it's right there. It's right there. We passed through, uh, I, I, we Son can't count that if nigga. If Sonny Bo knew Tommy Real Nigga was in the Bay, he it would have been a real problem. Been up. It would have been a been real up. problem. Because he didn't tap in. We got, we need, huh? Tommy. Tommy was. 
Oh, it was. Tommy was in the soil. Yes. Yeah, sure yeah. Sonny Bo slipping, bro. Slipping. <laughs> he was slipping. But you was in San Francisco. But that still it don't matter. Yeah. It don't matter. Nigga, he Tommy, was in the bay. Tommy pulled the whole plate. What? On a, yeah, on a nigga out there. The nigga, he, Tommy robbed him. Went uh, out of town and robbed the nigga on, on the <laughs> We gonna have to do a video about that then. On their territory, it was <laughs> white boy with some weed and shit like that. Uh, nigga ran off on them. That's hell. Of <laughs> I, 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 okay, I give you pass because Sonny Bo slid through New Orleans for yeah, sure. Sonny yeah. Bo was in New Orleans. He ain't tapping in with you. Yeah, yeah. He was just yeah. out there. But I try to connect y'all. You was slipping. Tommy Real nigga was slipping. You was slipping. So I try to connect them. I was Man, like, we got, I we hit gotta, Rob. We Who was better hit Rob? Yeah. And you feel me? Robbed and tell Tommy Real nigga that Sonny Boy was in New Orleans. It might have been around the time so I was like, fuck Tommy. Mm. <laughs> 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 oh, mama. So, yeah, them niggas, that niggas gonna meet, man. You understand me? But, uh, yeah, Damn. man, it's it's been a good time you coming through this motherfucker. R.P. Boogie B too, man. Yeah, you man. understand me? Yeah, we we came, he came on a uh, Cali kickback, man. We had a whole bunch of conversation about New Orleans and the culture and you know we found out I found out so much information about the city that I didn't even know you feel me the similarity within you know with the Bay Area and New Orleans and shit I didn't know y'all I didn't know y'all didn't gang bang yeah. cause in the Bay we don't gang bang yeah, no that's not, not part of our culture y'all heavy on the independence you feel me the mm -hmm. Master P's and yeah. you know you know Master Conversy. P came to the Bay yeah. And you feel me? He got the recipe, man. He got yeah. the game with the independence from the soil. So we always been connected since then. Yeah. So it's like so much stuff that New Orleans and the Bay Area got um, in common that I feel like the other cities don't. Y'all like New Orleans got so y'all the y'all want the city still got their own culture. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, not definitely. acting like nobody. Definitely, y'all got it's, your it's, own culture. It's real unique, like. <laughs> And I, I know sometimes it's it's so natural and normal because uh -huh. you know you you know like if you it's natural and normal for you because you're from where you're from. Yeah. But when you go other places, you start realizing how, you know how unique it is because yeah. people are like, where you from? Yeah. Like nigga, everywhere we you do, even look like, like New Orleans, nigga. What you Creole? <laughs> you got you Creole? But yeah. Yeah. Love all the niggas they Creole. They got my, the hair. Y'all got some beautiful women out there because of the hair and they chocolate. But yeah. they got the hair. I'll be like, these bitches go crazy. Yeah. They ain't even bitches. They <laughs> young women. <laughs> they women out For there in New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got some hoes on there. Nigga. <laughs> That's just me trying to recruit. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all. Yeah, uh, as women, and then there's, then there's some hoes. I guess. Oh, some... <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you could tell. Shout out to the women, and shout out to the hoes. We don't want to oh, leave mamas. nobody we fuck out. Fuck with the hoes, oh, mamas. <laughs> you know, but that y'all got your hoes, own tap little tap shit going on out there. That you know, I I just I like cities that got their own culture. It's just original. You feel me? Being yeah. from the Bay, we just so heavy on being original. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. LA is very original, but they got Hollywood. Yeah. So it's like, you know, we don't got Hollywood in the Bay Area. We just got a bunch of original motherfuckers. You go to the Bay, you ain't yeah. gonna meet nobody from nowhere else but you the know, Bay. You know, <laughs> you know who, you know where I was at? And it, and it kind of reminded me of a New Orleans a little bit. Where? Um, Baltimore. Like, it, really? it's a, it was not the, it, it, I don't know what it was. I was talking, and it's like just the way, not the way we talk, because clearly we talk. Completely different. But they got their own culture. It's, own... it's that culture was like, like in love. Like might be like, man, stupid ass. Like like right now, you uh -huh. you fresh. I'd be like, oh, I can I see you got the McQueens on. I stupid ass, man. Woo -woo. <laughs> like I'm gonna insult you, but compliment you at the same time. Mm. And he's like, okay, dummy. And this and this and that. Whoop. And like that's how it was. Cause one of the niggas was talking to me and calling me dummy and this and this and that. Whoop. But compliment me, but at the same. Yeah, yeah. I and know I, what I felt kind of like I was back home, and I'm like. And I, you know, he was like, well, no, we just, we just talk like that. He was trying to kind of clear it up. And I'm like, nah, nigga, you good. Like, I can see Baltimore, though. Yeah. I can see that. Cause it's, a, it's cause slightly. That's a, and that's a grimy city. Yeah. Hey, gritty. Yeah, and New Orleans shit. is, oh. Yeah. You can never feel comfortable in New yeah. Orleans. Yeah. Even people that's from New Orleans, yeah, they don't say, even nigga, be I'm comfortable. from New Orleans. Yeah. Nigga, I was at a, uh, I was leaving a show. I was leaving a show, uh, Mike Epps and D.L. Hughley and all, I had to throw that in there. Um, ah, <laughs> this nigga a cat. Yeah, dude, yeah, dude. So leaving that show, and um, <laughs> niggas like one something in the morning, stop at this gas station, uh -huh. and nigga, this, this black cop, now nah, I'm in New Orleans, I'm, you know, but it's, it's late, and like, 
these niggas hop out and they like, oh shit, like Rob Kaiser, but I ain't know how to read that energy because young dudes, they all got on all black, they all got on poo shysties. Yeah. These niggas about to kill me. Like, oh, <laughs> so my I'm like, but they like, let me get a picture. One nigga take the picture and then the other ones hop out. So my gun on my hip, but I'm like really peeping, trying to make sure they don't like, don't <laughs> spread, don't start spreading. Yeah. Don't, oh, I, don't make me feel like I'm being circled. Yeah. So, but they kind of like stayed at bay. I guess they was peeping me and they pop took the picture and shit like that. And it really was on some love. Like, yep. I pop right, hopped in the car and pulled off. They went go do something. Yeah, they went and go all this black, all shit black, somewhere and else. Black, well, but black they stopped and show love. But they stopped and show love. But I was extremely uncomfortable in that situation. Yeah. I was like, so yeah, it's, it's even being from New Orleans is a time so where you uncomfortable and you like the fuck going on. Like that's how Oakland yeah. is. Oh, mamas, nigga. <laughs> so, yeah. so you know, it just it be you know. I feel like the I feel like uh, you know the cities that get flew over. You feel me? That you know everybody want to go straight to Atlanta. Or, Mm -hmm. On the uh, East Coast, uh, like Detroit and Oakland, Detroit and the Bay Area, we game related. I think that's like the city from that's uh, like we like cousins. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's just natural. But I think them cities that got culture, but get uh, we don't get a lot of tourist attraction. I feel like them cities the ones connect because on the East Coast, everybody gonna fly to New York. Yeah. In the South, everybody gonna fly to uh, Atlanta. You feel yeah. me? And in Cali, everybody gonna go to LA. Yeah. So you feel me? Like yeah. Bay Area got that. We we them people that fuck with the culture. You you ain't gotta be the most famous city. You yeah. feel me? It's like nigga, you got a culture. We we fucking with Memphis and we yeah. we fuck with New Orleans and Baltimore and shit like yeah. that. Cause they and we gotta collab. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause shit. nigga, we don't got them cities. We ain't one of them cities that everybody gonna come to us. Yeah. We gotta go to the. You Shall feel I me? I ain't gonna lie. Them New, <laughs> New Orleans have been one of them cities though. Like we coming out like just. On a inside looking out, like them up like Mardi Gras, they coming out the Essence Fest. Like, oh, they y'all do got like, that. Like nigga, oh, we held mama. so many, we held so many Super Bowls. Like a lot of Super Bowls is in New Orleans. Like, yeah. so I ain't gonna lie, New Orleans is one of them cities. Like we going to do, New Orleans. People do go to we New get Orleans. We a lot for the Mardi of tours. Gras. Oh, my mama. Lot of tours. But Mardi see, y'all janky though, cause y'all be out there <laughs> trying to rob niggas and <laughs> shit. Niggas ain't hey. coming out there hey. fucking hey. with y'all. My fuckers be going to New hey. Orleans and want to hey. eat. Hey, fuck with the hoes that's walking that street. Nigga, don't seem like a. The, the best thing I can tell you is you come to New Orleans, you tour it, don't look like a tourist. See, that ain't fun, bro. Don't look like a tourist. <laughs> the, nigga, uh, if you uh, just, you know, uh, be, uh, just be a real nigga. Like, like you came down there, I think it'll be love. I think, you know, certain, like, because this moment, so we out there and we might see somebody and like, man, where you from? He might be from somewhere, but the swag might be unique and it's like, all right, it's like a love and respect. Yeah. But if you come out there, okay, now let me say, don't look like a tourist. Don't look scared. Yeah. Oh, let okay. me say that. Okay, that that All fixes right. it. Don't look that. scared. But see, my dumb ass came out there, and I thought it was like Vegas type yeah. shit. Cause I feel you on the when I think of Mardi Gras, you sometimes you it sound it might sound ignorant, but sometimes you forget it's in New Orleans. Yeah, you know we going to New Orleans, but I'm not thinking I'm going where BG and them niggas from. I yeah. think I'm going where the titties at. Yeah. you understand yeah. me? And I'm doing that. Right. But then, you, uh, you, cause most cities like. Like when you go to tourist places, it ain't that close to danger. Like, yeah. bruh, you on the strip, you on Mardi Gras with Bourbon Street, yeah. right? You on that, but it's like literally, if you don't stay on that one street, <laughs> nigga in the trenches and niggas on, yeah. on your ass. Yeah, but it's is what I mean right now right now is is a mm. Man, it's niggas, little, just, bro, it's, little, it's, they, they gonna be, yeah, they be shooting shit. Niggas be shooting, so, bro. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm trying to get but, these niggas shot. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> It's cool, just bourbon, canal, bourbon, canal, some other uh, Frenchmen, that's some streets to where you can go and have a good time, uh -huh. and you might see a fight or two. Somebody may start shooting, because yep. you just can't, but for the most part, there is some uh -huh. areas to where you can go and really just have a good time to stay away from New Orleans East. Don't yes. go to the East my, for nothing. My pop, my pop, uh, Even if your family live out there, be like, girl, I just got me a, uh, yeah, meet me at my uh, my hotel, bitch, don't. Because <laughs> I was talking to Boogie B about this when I went to New Orleans, and uh, my pops originally from Louisiana, so uh, he, he know how I move a little bit, and I came out there, nigga, thinking it's like Vegas on some shit, nigga, I had jewelry on, and feel me, I'm walking the street, my pops like, nigga, you better take that shit off of one of these niggas, take it off of you, yeah. you feel me? 
Yeah. And you know, I I'm familiar with it because we got some we got some shit called First Fridays in Oakland. Yeah. You can walk around, but nigga, it's spunky. You feel me? It's like nigga, don't. It's one of them. Yeah. You feel me? So, um, I'm like, so I'm like, so it's not like Vegas. It's like First Fridays. He like, yeah. So he like, nigga, you might want to, you know, switch, you know, blend in a little bit more. Yeah. I'm like, I blend in and yeah. I felt it. And then that was when I went out there with my pops. It was me and my moms and pops. And then I slid back out there because I had a show. I did a show with, I'm going to throw, I'm going to fuck with you too. I had a show with Mike Epps at the uh, Orphe. What's that shit okay. called? Yeah, yeah Orphe. Orphe. Yeah, Orphe. it was Mike Epps and Orphe. Friends. Orphe. So it was a little big, big spot. Yeah. So then I, I knew how to move because I went the first time. So I had the show and I, you know, woo woo. Mm -hmm. And then I stripped down and then I walked around and shit. Yeah. You feel me? So I'm like, <laughs> I treated it like home type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, now that shit ain't like Miami and Vegas, though. Don't get yeah. these niggas killed. Yeah, when they go to New Orleans, because for real, I was in Miami and it was like, hey, do this and do that. I was what was that? It was a popular strip. Uh, Ocean Drive. Yeah, Ocean Drive, and it was like, you know, you got to be careful and ooh, but you know, when you when you a hood nigga, you you you, you know how to you adapt. street, yeah, you know yeah. how to adapt. So yeah. you know, and then being from New Orleans, being from some somewhere that's been a murder capital so many times, it's like. You don't feel much, but at the exactly. same time, you. But sometimes you, you, you not fear much can put you in danger. No, 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 no. Let me. Okay, so <laughs> let me say this: You don't fear much, but you also street smart, yeah. and you go like your senses is up. It's like my, true. yeah, my it's senses true. are up. So that nigga, my like, man, Kevin Gates, my hey, senses hey, is hey, up. Look, my, hey, brother. Hey, <laughs> say so, my senses up, big brother. You know, yeah. So you know, I may walk on the street, you know, and just. You know, I got this little thing I do with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a, <laughs> hey, I, I know we talk about hella shit, but I ain't gonna lie, it's hella motherfucking legends from New Orleans. Like, who your top five New Orleans artists? Uh, artists as in just like music or just? Uh, rap. Wayne, of course. Wayne. Uh, Wayne. New Orleans or Louisiana, just. Oh yeah, that's a good point because that's different. Let's do, oh, cause cause it's lose Baton Rouge in New Orleans is a three hour drive, right? No, no, that's one hour. Yeah. Oh, we gotta do Louisiana then the whole shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's out they right there. Uh, the Bay mm -hmm. Area in Sacramento is an hour from each other. This just show you how damn how big California is. Cause, pe Cause when I told you I'm like nah I was coming from Oakland When I was talking to you yeah. You thought I was down the street I'm like nah yeah. nigga I'm, That was Nigga I had to get on a flight Nigga yes, that's a five hour drive I know I'm like damn yeah. nigga, <laughs> People place California With LA and the Bay yeah. Is one shit Like yeah. And y'all An hour away from each other Y'all separate Like yeah. nigga Baton Rouge and New Orleans yeah. So that's why and I was you know what, telling you And, like, and it's so different It, is, it really We is have different. similarities But yeah. If you notice Like nigga The 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 we got similar swag, but the swag is just still completely different with New Orleans and like Baton Rouge, and it's so close. Yeah. Like even the accent, like our words may drag like crazy, and this and this and that, and they crazy. Yeah, it's, yep. it's sped up. Like yep. there, it's a different vernacular out there. Yeah, but it's the same. It's like we'll say you heard me, and they say you heard me, but it just don't. It it sound different. Yeah. It sounds different, so you can definitely tell. Would you consider New Orleans is the only? Cause like you got some people in like Shreveport and certain places that may sound like they from Baton Rouge, cause it's like a. But New Orleans is the only city in Louisiana mm -hmm. that just really sound like you just know, like oh that's New Orleans. Yep. You can point it out, oh yep. that's New Orleans. Yeah, from but afar I can know. From afar, it's like yeah. oh that's New even Orleans. out of state. I'm like nah, this yeah. nigga down there from New Orleans. Yeah, because it's, it's it's like extremely unique, like the talk, the walk, like the. I was in New Orleans and I thought everybody like in the South was country, and I was in New Orleans one time. Nick was like, I'm not from the country, nigga. I'm from I'm from the city. I'm from New Orleans. I'm yeah, like, I'm yeah. Like, nigga. I'm from California, so all you niggas country to me, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't know it was a difference between even being from the South, niggas from the city, and niggas yeah, from the country. Yeah. yeah, but it's the crazy thing, like like Baton Rouge, just you know they got city, but then like Shreveport, you got yeah, that's country. you got country. Yeah. But then notice when you come to New Orleans, is really city. Yeah, it's bridges, buildings, like we don't have like. You know, like if you got go like woods and swamps and all that, that's Louisiana. That's uh, not New Orleans. Uh, like would you consider Baton Rouge country? Some parts, yeah, yeah definitely. That shit country out definitely. There. I've been out there. Definitely. I was going, I was testing y'all country. <laughs> <laughs> I was 
was gonna say, you didn't think Definitely. that real country, your ass country. Definitely, nah, nah, but I got some country in me because my daddy is from Shreveport, uh, okay. from Shreveport, Mansfield, so he's a country my, my nigga. My pops so originally from Monroe, Louisiana. Okay, Monroe, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so he the type I got a lot of, of family out there. Fucking catch an animal with his yeah, hand. Yeah, tackle an alligator and shit, real country Come shit. Come on, boy, get out of here, boy. I'm like, um. <laughs> yeah, so Louisiana, top five Louisiana artists, rappers. Um, Wayne. Gates, Boosie. To the I used, masses, I used, I used, to I the used, masses, like who, like, like on some like, not your personal favorites, but it's like. Oh, it's, okay, okay. You kinda okay. see where I'm going with yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like don't be politically correct. No, I was just trying to find my favorite. I was, okay, just, like, I was just like, when I'm riding around, who I bumped the most or who mm -hmm. I've listened to the most like throughout, but okay, so to the masses. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Then I can't put Soldier Slim in there no more because he he wasn't he didn't he wasn't that to the masses. But that's one of my favorites. Mm. Uh, oh, for real, Soldier Slim. Yeah, Soldier Slim, and you know, not too many people know. So I mean, a lot of people know of him. Yeah, yeah. But like when we speak the masses, it's like oh. right when he was like on a cusp of like really taking off. Uh -huh. You know, he got killed. Uh. But that's one of my favorites, but to the masses, Lil oh. Wayne for sure. So you said, <clears throat> so yo, your favorites was uh, Wayne. Yeah. Who else you say? Gates, I bump a lot of Gates. Gates. Boosie. Baby Boosie. mama, baby mama. I'm tired of you, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Boo, bro, everybody love Boosie, bro. Uh -huh. I swear to God, bro, that I nigga. Know, he that... was the hottest artist in Oakland at one point. Just yeah. in the Bay. Boy, that what? Age. I'm telling you, bro. Everybody, That's my nigga. nigga, Boosie had everybody in Bay throwing up the foes. Yeah, nigga, niggas, we in house parties, niggas throwing up the foes, like on some like, <laughs> cause they listen to Boosie type so, shit, like niggas. Boosie, Boosie, the truth, though. That, yeah. That's my nigga, Boosie Gates. Uh, to the masses, I don't know, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie, Fredo Bang is I fuck with Fredo really? Bang heavy. I hey, man, I'm gonna keep it live with you. I'm gonna keep it live with you. I didn't even know he was from New Orleans. No, he from no, he from uh He from Baton Rouge? Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah, I thought hey. he was from Houston. No. No. Oh, you talking about Fredo Bang? Oh, I got bruh fucked up. I'm thinking you talking about Kirko Bang. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Yeah, he from Houston. No. Oh yeah, Fredo, uh dark skinned chubby nigga, yeah, gangster yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Son, yeah, that yeah. nigga. Hey, okay, I gotta check I'll him fuck out. With it. Son, his music. Hard, son. Yeah. Like hard, son. Is is yeah, I fuck with him heavy. Uh and young boy. And young boy. And young yeah. boy. And young boy. And normally they wouldn't put them two in the same because of what I ain't got. Of the nothing, I ain't got nothing yeah, to do with yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah. I fuck with both of them niggas. That shit hard. Yeah. I fuck with both of their music. I might listen to Mo Freddo though. Like honestly, like I okay. like that shit just resonate more. But yeah. I, yeah, that that go crazy. That's it's like a, one that's that's like one of my favorite, like right now, out of everybody mm -hmm. I named, mm -hmm. that's some 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 People that's been doing it long with some uh, some higher rankings or whatever to the masses, but like Fredo Bang is probably like one of my favorite right now. From you, you know Louisiana. what I want to do? I want to guess because a lot of people, a lot of people from out of state don't really not familiar with our rap. Yeah, like in the Bay Area, they not familiar. It, our culture is so big where mm -hmm. we got a lot of uh like Bay Area celebrities. Mm -hmm. Like you feel me? Like <laughs> I would even say Bay Area West Coast celebrities because they, you know, when you pop into the Bay to LA, they yeah. fuck with you for sure. But it's like who top five artists? Uh, do you, can you name top like five artists from California right now? From Cali, right now, just from Cali. Yeah, yeah. Kendrick Lamar. Okay. You got <laughs> Bay Area E Forty. Yeah. <laughs> um, Too Short. Uh, um, Snoop. Um, <clears throat> shit. Nipsey. Okay, uh, name anybody under thirty-five. Anybody under thirty-five? Yeah. Cause you know we we tapped in like California. We be knowing mm -hmm. uh all the the rappers. We know NBA Young Boy and you know all the shit. But they don't be knowing us type shit. You know what who, I'm saying? Who really. And you know what? We pro probably do know them, but just don't even know. No, they, they name, from right here from the from the base. Damn. For so real? Give, hold on, give, you give me one, and let me see, and I'll tell you if I if I'm familiar with them. Damn. See, that's Boosie. We ain't popping enough. No, if I gotta do that, he probably didn't know you. No, but what I'm saying, I'm I'm 
La Russell. He, oh, okay, he? yeah, La Russell. He? he from the Bay. Yeah, fucking right. Hey, man, good job, La Russell. Man, fuck you were fucking right. He expand. No, I follow him. Yeah. Okay, I fuck with him. I just, I didn't know. I did not. I didn't know. That's what oh, I'm saying. Okay, that's what I'm telling you. Give me a name. It's not. It's niggas I know, but I may not know they from Cali or from the really? Bay. Really? I just fuck like I fuck. I never knew that. Yeah. Swear. I just fuck with dude vibe, and I didn't know he was from the Bay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's got, why I said, give me like, give me one. That, could, but La Russell, I, that's I hate definitely. doing that because it, the fans they gonna be like, nigga, why he didn't say my name and why? You? Oh, I be, okay, I yeah. be just trying to, sh I just yeah. be sure because I move around so much and I, I be knowing about different cultures and shit. Yeah. Like, like it didn't surprise me that you like, oh yeah, I see you on the eighty five South. You yeah. feel me? That's what made me start tapping in a little yeah. bit more. Yeah. And our culture, we don't know that we nigga because niggas be getting money and we be popping. We think everybody knows. Right. And I be coming home and be telling niggas, bro, nigga. Don't be slapping these niggas. Don't even be knowing niggas. Right. You feel me? Right. So like that's why I do what I do because right. I'm part of the culture of West Coast. Right. So I'm like, oh okay, I got to be more a part of the culture in the South because you know, nigga, you know they don't yeah. be they, don't, they, they just don't transition with yeah. for some reason. I yeah. don't know. I mean, but you know, like, that, like I think because our people out here. from the South. I think. Everybody from California, our kin folks is from the South. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Like, nigga, we all got family from the South. Yeah. Nigga, we all originally from the South. Yeah. Feel me? So I think we can relate to y'all more. But if you're not, if you're not from the West Coast, there's certain shit you just can't relate to because we, our whole culture and our whole style and lifestyle is different. But nah, but it's, but it just all depends. Like, I didn't came up around the trenches and all that shit. That's why I was able to relate to, uh -huh. to you and relate to the sunny boat. Like I'm, I'm relating mm -hmm. to this shit mm -hmm. and the culture. It, it is, is unique. It's, is somewhat similar. Yeah. And, um, even La Russell, I relate like yeah. he, he on some, you know, the vibe and like the shit he talking about. It's like really like some positive kick, but he found a way to make positive rap cool. Yeah. Like, not to say that positive rap not cool, but sometimes no, instead of positive rap, it just be like, nah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, niggas ain't trying to hear yeah. about you waking up. Baby. Yeah, but the way he, the style, like, <laughs> now that I think about it, it is that bass style. It and that, is that that shit. Shit, baby. I love that shit. Yeah. That shit. Mm. <laughs> it's getting, mm, mm, uh, 20, 20. What do you say? 10, 10, 10, 10 20. 20, 20. Yeah. We gonna honey. count this money. We gonna count this money. <laughs> 10, 10, 20, 20, 50, 50, 100. You hella funny, yes. bro. Yes, hey, I, hey, though. So yeah, nah, I, 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 so I relate. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. Like if a lot of shit relatable, it just be from different places. Yeah. Like I can go to anywhere and find something that I can relate yeah. to, or no, somebody I, feel like I can relate to. All real niggas, we relate. You understand me? I feel like everybody. This, I think this shit about spirits. Yeah. You know I mean, everybody got the same spirit, so you gotta find your spirits. Yeah. But you know, I just be. I always like to ask people from out of state when they come to Cali, like what well, artists, because being in California, the artists always feel like, like they bigger than what they is, mm -hmm. and I done felt victim of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga, yeah. you can get so big in California, you really be like, nigga, I'm on. Yeah. Oh, and you wait. really and it's not. The, it's the other the other dude, uh, man, I can't think about his name. Um, I just was at a show with him. Um, fuck, took a picture with the dude and everything, smoke with him. Um, okay, I'm gonna say his name because I don't want to be political, but that's my nigga Simba. Yeah. Okay. How you knew? Yeah, that's I grew up with Simba. That's How you my knew? Nigga. That's what I'm talking about. Because I I I talk to him like every day type shit. Oh, okay. So when, okay. When, when okay. I I seen y'all on the story together. On oh. The story. Okay. Yeah. So y'all yeah. smoking and Simba, shit. Simba. Yeah. Simba. And that, Simba. that made me like, okay, I could probably really fuck with bro. Yeah. Talking about yeah. you, like, yeah. okay, Rob, they was catching a little vibe. Yeah. I can fuck nah, with. Nah, dude, cool. Yeah. I know I fuck with his music. So yeah. I, 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 yeah. So I'm saying, I'm saying. I, yeah. I yeah. We moving around. We growing. But the name sometimes. Y'all people, Larry. You said, I think yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. No, he, he just put me on uh, Larry June. Yeah, because of the currency yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. nah, we, you know, yeah. fuck, we real niggas, though, so we gonna, yeah. fuck, we, I, I, then I love music. Yeah. So yeah. I don't give a fuck where you're from. If his shit sound yeah, good, I'm fucking with it. Nigga, it take one to know one, yeah. man. You understand yeah. me? So yeah. I, I, I love it. I love it. Nah, I fuck with the B, man. Yeah, nah, nah, that go crazy, though, man. I, I don't want to hold you up, man. You understand me? I just want to, you know, put pain where it ain't chop gang with you, man. Connect and let the people know we tapped in. You understand right. me? Right, right, you know? right, right, right. If anything you want to promote before you get up out of here? Um, Social media, you understand Shit, me? man, y'all just tap into the social media. I mean, because at the end of the day, that's really how everything keep growing. Like, you know, the more followers you got, the more money you make, the more shows you could pack out, oh the more endorsements come, the more people see you, all that type of shit. So Rob Kazi, R-O-B underscore K-A-Z-I, tap in, that's Facebook, that's YouTube, 
Instagram, all that. Rob Kazi. You heard me? You dig. <laughs> Holding it down for New Orleans. <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> like a dog and all that. All the above, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Let me do my Bay version, man. Yeah. Follow me on social media. You understand me? The uh -huh. only Lewis belt, not to help. You understand me? <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Just moving and grooving. Uh, uh, you feel me? I fuck with hoes and I fuck with Trader Joe's. You understand me? <laughs> just a nigga that just do everything. You understand me? Mac and never slacking. You understand me? And uh, this the Cali kickback. And uh, fuck with us. Subscribe. And and uh, yeah, subscribe to your guy. Thank you. I yeah, love everybody, man. It's the Kelly Kickback. We gone. I, I, I just kind of <laughs> wanted to throw some games on <laughs>